Hey, what's going on YouTube world? I apologize for not having a camera. Um, something's going on with my, my laptop camera. But I didn't want to have that hold me back from putting out this video. Um, you know, I wanted to show you how you can use list source to find your hottest zip codes in your market. And you know why I think that's important. And before we get into this, I know there's like a thousand and one videos on this. But, um, you know, I've taken six or seven of them and d taken different aspects of how people do it and you know what works best for them and kind of tailored it to my situation and you know how it helps me so i kind of wanted to put that out there and you know maybe help somebody else um, but i really think it's important to niche down to the certain zip codes in your market where the most cash transactions are happening because it allows you to utilize your marketing budget for you know the best return on investment you can deploy that capital into zip codes where there's high activity going on. So you're not spending all over the county, right? You're not spending in different zip codes that, you know, there's really not much activity. So if you're getting a deal and you can't sell it, you know, that would be a problem. Uh, it, it basically, you're hyper-focusing your efforts, you know, where buyers are buying. It's basically, it's simple supply and demand, right? So another way I think this kind of helped me personally um, you know, it helped me analyze a different virtual market. So when I was, you know, looking in Nashville, um, I've never even stepped foot in Nashville. So it kind of gave me, uh, more or less like a pulse on the market without even being there. So let's not waste any more time and, um, you know, let's get to it. So you're going to want to go to listsource.com. Um, you're going to click the button, create your own. And it's going to pull you up to this page right here. You go to county. I'm going to use Florida. And we will use, let's use Palm Beach. Palm Beach County. You're going to go over to property. You're going to select property type. Single family residential. Equity percent. So this is where it really sets apart, you know, finding the cash buyers or where things are going on for cash buyers. You put it at 100, 100. And it will automatically cut out anybody that has a mortgage. You go to last market sale date. I choose to do uh, the last 12 months. You know, you could do the last three, six, nine, whatever you feel comfortable with. Go over to options. We want all the absentee owned because obviously they're investment properties. Trustee include, that's fine. Corporate owned, we definitely want corporate owned so we'll put no preference. And we'll go to purchase list. So we're not actually purchasing, we'll go to purchase partial list. Custom selection, my zip code and you click export. Now this will allow you to email yourself this file, which I have already done. And uh, here it is. Okay, so this is the file that they'll email you. I like to clean it up, get rid of these three. Right off the bat. All right. So you take the one, this is obviously where we're in Florida. Uh, this is the total county records. Um, so for the year, that's the total cash transactions. So we want to omit that. Start at two. Select these. Sort largest to smallest. Okay. So now it's sorted the zip codes, you know, where the most transactions are happening. Well, from 109 all the way down to down here, three cash transactions in the year. We're going to do the formula sign, 109 divided by 2254, 2254. Click and drag, set that up to a percentile. We will do equals this for this one, equals this plus this one. And you're going to click and drag. So now this is cumulative. 
Now I typically like to see, you know, 50 percentile, uh, the top 50 percent where cash transactions are happening. So those will be the, the 15 zip codes where 50% of the cash transactions are happening. Um, I typically like to focus on those first. And then, you know, once you get a bigger budget, you, if you want to extend all the way up to 75, um, you know, where 75% of the transactions are happening, you can go ahead and do so. That's basically it. That's, um, that's how you can find the hottest zip codes, whether it's in your backyard, another state, or even halfway across the country you know, when you're going into a virtual market and it's completely free, you know, why wouldn't you utilize this and put it in your tool belt? You know, not only is ListSource uh, great for pulling these hottest zip codes, but their data is actually top notch. You know, I've been using um, ListSource data for the past few months to build my lists and have them skip trace and so on and so forth. And they've actually been the top performing lists that I've had, you know, out of other list providers as well. So, you know, if you feel like you've learned anything today and got some value from this, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you guys next time.